we're going to look at configuring SNMP v3 on your Comware devices. So why do we want to use IMC to do this? Well, the best reason is because it's better to do things once. And if you have one or five or 100 switches that are running Comware, you can actually do them all at the same time using just one batch operation with an IMC. And let's be honest, CLI is passe. Who wants to be logging into switches manually and doing this, typing in commands um, all day long? Right? Let's use a tool to be able to get that off our plate and push that out. And probably the most important reason that we want to do this is the auditors say we have to. A lot of the GRC regulations out there, governance, risk, and compliance, say that we actually cannot have unencrypted um, protocols like SNMP v1 or v2c running across our network for management purposes. We want to lock those down, and SNMP v3 gives us that. So let's take a look. We are in the IMC interface and we are going to go to the batch operations first. So we're going to go over here to resource. We're going to go batch operations. And here we have a whole bunch of batch operations here. So this is something you should probably get a little familiar with. For this particular one, we're going to do device level configs. So we're going to scroll down to the bottom and pick device configuration guide. And now we're going to add an operation list. So this is the first step. So for HP Comware devices, uh, we're going to actually use the config SNMP v3 param h3c because this is a Comware device. And then we're going to click here to click add and select the Comware device that we would like to actually configure SNMP v3 on. So I'm going to put this on an HP 5120EI. But as I said above, you know, we could take all of these devices and put them all in, do all three at once. Um, but for our purposes today, I'm just going to do uh, the 5120EI. Click OK. There we go. Now I will click Next after verifying. So now we're going to put in the group name. So we will just call this SNMP v3 group. Now we need the read view name, which is view default. And this can be found in the configuration guide for your product. So you're going to want to look at that. The MIB subtree is going to be ISO. And then the right view type is going to be the same. Um, the name is going to be view default. Um, MIB tr subtree is ISO. Now we're going to want to change the authentication and privacy mode to AES128 and auth SHA. So it's possible to put in SNMP v3 without encryption or integrity, but what's the point in that? So we'll put in the username of v3 user, authentication password of auth pass, encryption password of encrypt pass, and we will now click next. So we can schedule this to happen at a later date, but for uh, for this demo, we will just do this immediately, and we will click OK. So you can see up here at the top, we're now waiting, so we will go and click the Refresh button. Running, there we go, now it's trying to run, and look at that, we have failed. So occasionally these things are going to fail, and it's a good, good practice to be able to figure out why. So we're going to click here into the results, and we can see the operation Telnet login failed. And if I click on the view details, I'm actually going to see what was typed in, right? So now I know I've got a Telnet problem for this particular device. So let's take a look at how we fix that. So I'm going to put in the IP address of that particular device in the query window up here. We're going to search that out, and here we are. We're going to click on the device label to get into the resource page for this device configure over here on the right and we're going to modify the telnet settings so this isn't modifying the telnet settings on the device this is actually going to modify the credentials that IMC uses to access the device so we're going to put in the proper username and password here click on the test button there we are successful and now we're going to click OK to save those settings you can see that the settings were successfully saved. Now we're going to go back into the batch operations and we're going to, going to do this all over again. So add SNMP v3, add device, grab our 5120. And now we're quickly going to go through this and take all the settings that we had in here before.
AES128 auth SHA, V3 user, auth pass, encrypt pass. Click next. Immediately, click OK. Waiting, running, and succeeded. There we go. We have now successfully configured SNMP v3 on the device. So we can click on the resource result view here. We can see the parameters. And we can also click on the details button. And this will show us the specific commands that were typed in from a CLI standpoint. So that is SNMP v3 on a HP 5120 Comware v5 device. Although this should work on pretty much any of the Comware v5 devices is only half of the steps. So now what we've configured the device to listen for SNMP v3, we need to configure IMC to send SNMP v3. So we're going to go into system and set up an SNMP v3 template here. So I've already got this done. We would click on the add button and then we're going to go through and we're going to make sure that the parameter type is um, AES128 auth SHA, the v3 username is there, and then the auth password and encrypt password are matching what we just put in that device. So that's the important part is it needs to match. We're going to search our device here, go back in, and now we're going to modify the SNMP settings. So just like we modified the Telnet settings before, we're going to select a template here and we're going to select the SNMP v3 Comware template we just created. Click on the test button. It is now successfully tested. And now we have set up IMC to connect to the device. So there's probably a couple steps we would want to take on here is to go in and um, maybe turn this over to SSH, um, as well as probably disabling SNMP v1 and v2c on the switch itself. But we'll leave that for another video. We'll see you guys the next time on the next IMC management tutorial.